What is this? Utility pole. Wow. What is this? It's a utility pole. I like that. Okay, good. I am one with the utility pole. In this video, we're going to be reacting to the Milwaukee factory tour that we can't even describe or like we can't even talk about or show you any pictures or video because it's highly top secret. <laughs> All right, hey, good afternoon, everybody. And today I'm excited to announce the first USA manufacturing hand tool plant for Milwaukee Tool in our history. And it's built from the ground up. It's a $55 million investment. We're also employing 150 Americans right here in West Bend, Wisconsin. Buying dozens of linesman's pliers over the years of my career as a contractor, I will tell you, buying the competitor's brand Sometimes you'll get a really great pair. Sometimes you'll get a pair that is just so sticky and stiff. It never breaks in. I literally get frustrated and get rid of it. We've invented new ways to manufacture these products. We looked at how would you make a pliers, a screwdrivers today, not how would you do it in 1950. And honestly, what we came to understand was a lot of the issues that users are running into tied directly back to the manufacturing techniques that our competition is using. I can't emphasize how impressive it is that Milwaukee Tool has made such a large investment into this factory. And on top of that, the processes that they put into place, the processes and the, and the actual machining, the processes, is how, who set that up? Is that done in house? Yes. So you're using laser. We're so using laser. So instead of what's the other process? Induction heat. So instead of using that, right? Yes. Think about it. Like the price of entry has got to be higher for laser. Much higher. But over but, time. So in that lab, remember I handed out those pucks. Yeah. So we we cross section everything that we do to make sure that our gradient. So the gradient meaning like how far down we heat treat okay. is precision controlled. If you look at the capability of that process, it is like 10x more capable than the induction process. So we're able to dial in that hardness on the cutting edge and the serrations. And that's critical for for uh, the life and the cut force. I think that people, when they think of manufacturing, yep. they think of like sweat pouring, people are dirty. Only AC. That's great. Like, that's the, I, that's I'm, the mantra, man. I'm so impressed though that Milwaukee has brought all that in house. Because of these processes they're using, it's a cleaner, nicer, and safer work environment for the people working in this factory. Milwaukee also uses some other processes for forming, stamping in their forging processes. We were not able to give you any, any footage. Now, we can't show you the laser treating. We're not allowed to. Maybe we could show you some stock footage from some other factory, must be a really high tech one, that uses laser treating on their on their material. They're testing their, their, their linesmen cutting steel blanks. Just being 100% with all of you, when cutting with the linesman pliers, they didn't always seem to require the least amount of force when cutting through materials. The competitors actually seem to require less force. ACSR, never been able to cut it myself, ever, until yesterday. I really? might be sore, but I did it. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I went to a communications training. So I went through an apprenticeship program for communications mm -hmm. and then for utility. What are you most excited about? Uh, Lab Inspires. I, yeah. I think they're great. I really like the, the needle nose. I like the cutters. I mean, right. they feel good. Yes. And you don't have to, they're easy to manipulate. Right. But when I have to fight with a tool to open it. Right. My job is to be boots on the ground. Sure. Because I'm the middleman between the end user and making sure that information's relayed the right way. Sure. There's nothing more rewarding than when someone who hasn't been a part of that research process who sees it. I will say, that I think the viewers would love to see the facility. At some point, maybe we could set, set that up. I think that it, it looks like you found a faster, better way to make a high quality tool at a, at a specific price point. So price point on linesmen, cutters. Yeah, so and everything's gonna be right in line with our leading competitors. So think of like a Klein and Ideal uh, channel lock, we're gonna be in that same price point. For okay. Everything really you see here today. On the screwdriver side, I mentioned the uh, the tips don't fit. That honestly comes down to the variation, the lack of quality control on the screw manufacturing side of things. No pH2 from one manufacturer to the next is the same. Uh, there's that variation. So how do you try to account for that? With our precision machining, we get that precise fit, so you reduce that chance of stripping. 
gonna do another demo here with screwdrivers. So we've got 800 pounds loaded up in the steel storage. It's another 400 pounds of steel storage, 1200 pounds total. What we're gonna try and do is pull this with the competitor, take ours, again, torque down, and you've got the ability to pull 1200 pounds here across this floor. has something to do with the ways the wheels are going there, I guess. You want to conduct these tests and then have us do them as well. I'm not taking no blood oath. Milwaukee is the only screwdriver that can pull this 1,200 pounds. When clearly multiple people demonstrated that the competitor's brand can do it as well. I know that every manufacturer wants to put their tool in the best light. All the cutting tools seemed really sharp. All the screwdrivers seemed really good when tightening down fasteners, as screwdrivers should. Fit them, it was good. Under promise and over deliver. Milwaukee Tool seems to want to make such crazy claims that you overlooked the fact at that point, the story isn't anymore that these are great tools that are produced in the USA. The story becomes that Milwaukee Tool is lying in their testing. And the quality of these American-made tools is overlooked and overshadowed by that story. We are so confident in the quality and the control and the process that we have in our products that we will be launching with a lifetime warranty on all of our USA-made Here's the thing. This is Milwaukee's first time producing hand tools in a USA factory. Maybe they will be on par with other tools. Maybe they don't have to blow all the other tools out of the water. We're overlooking the fact that they're just a quality tool. Like it's just, you just be an extra Milwaukee tool. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And listen, I like everybody that I spoke with but the reality is, is that you mustn't think too much of us. I mean, we're contractors, we're tradespeople. We know BS when we see it. And the problem is, is that I have no choice but to call you out on it. It's it's a shame. The number one metric for me from an end user standpoint is the voice of customer. That's okay. my number one quality metric. That's why I listen to you, listen to Tool Guide, read the Home Depot reviews. So you guys help calibrate me and my team on sure. if we're doing the right things.